My name is Kai Thomas. I'm a documentary filmmaker that's based in Chicago and telling stories about black youth and black elders specifically. I'm Trina T. I'm a data scientist. My medium is journalism. I work at the Invisible Institute. I'm their data director. We're primarily known for investigating uh, police misconduct. Uh, we're a multimedia journalism organization. And so Trina and I began to be in partnership, well, really in life. Generally, we share a mutual friend and probably met each other in 2018. And uh, Trina, you started Beneath the Surface, the project in what year? So it's interesting. When I first joined the Invisible Institute, I came through, um, I, I was a, before I was at the Invisible Institute, I was an organizer with a group called the Black Youth Project 100 in Chicago. We were advocating for accountability. Read this police officer off-duty cop who had murdered a girl, her name was Rakia Boyd. And I was the communications co-chair for BYP 100. I was like trying to find data sentences about things that people had actually not quite researched yet. And um, by way of my work, I think I was on a panel, randomly I became acquainted with the Invisible Institute and that was my entry point into data. Um, Initially, I was doing like outreach work, but I, uh, because our database, the Citizens Police Data Project, housed this like top level records for police misconduct um, complaints, right? Going back, I think now it goes back to 1988. And at the time, we didn't have any narratives, just these primary categories. And me, I was interested in gender based violence. I'm a survivor of, of um, I'm a survivor of violence. And I, have been in a situation before where I simply did not call the police because I was like, if they come, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna escalate things and I won't be safe. And, and that was even before I did any organizing work. And so when I saw that there were other people who had stories where they had experienced gender-based violence, they had called police and police had actually mistreated them, but the category was something like operation and personnel violations, um, I was like, how do we take a deeper dive into these narrative texts, right? When you're looking at primary categories in data, you're going to see flattened narratives. If you think operation and personnel violations, if you think even miscellaneous, you're not going to think, wow, someone was experiencing a crisis. Someone called police. Police mistreated them when they arrived. Um, and so I had already had this idea of identifying sexual violations at the hands of police. Um, gender-based violence in general at the hands of police, but we didn't have access to narratives. And I also didn't know anything about data. Um, I came up with an idea to do some, you know, I, I got in touch with some data scientists in San Francisco, and they were like, it's interesting what you're doing, like you're trying to do machine learning, but with your brain. And when he said that to me, I was that was the summer before I was headed to the University of Chicago Harris School of Public Policy. I wanted to develop my technical skills so that I could do something bigger than look through a database and press some buttons and um, come to some conclusions. And so beneath the surface, although it really started the idea of it, you know, much, you know, years ago, 2017, even 2018, we didn't put a name to it or even begin the process until um, 2020, end of 2020 all through the year 2021 and we continue to do that work today um, and by 